Brethren, let us worship God for who he is. He's the Almighty God. The only I am that I am. The ancient of this is the lily of valley, the rose of Sharon, the eternal rock of ages, the prince of peace, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jari. He's the omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God. Appreciate him. He's the only I am that I am, the king of glory. Appreciate him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Brethren, let's, let's approach the throne of grace and plead for the forgiveness of our sin. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, precious blood of Jesus, atone for my sin. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, atone for my sin. Jesus, sin. atone for my sin. Atone for my sin. Atone for my sin. In the name of Jesus, atone for my sin. Jesus, sin. in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You, the heaven of this morning service, open by fire. Open, 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 open. By the power and the blood of Jesus and the authority in the name of Jesus. Sir. Open, Jesus. Sir. Open, Jesus. Sir. Open, Jesus. Sir. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Every wickedness in the heavenlies assigned at, against today's service, enter into bondage. In the name of Jesus, enter into bondage in Jesus' name. Enter into bondage, enter into bondage, enter into bondage. In the name of Jesus, enter into bondage in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Glory of the living God, overshadow the whole of this auditorium now. In the name of, overshadow in Jesus' name. Glory of the living God, overshadow, 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 overshadow the Lord of this auditorium now. In the name of Jesus, overshadow in Jesus, overshadow in Jesus, overshadow in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, Holy Spirit of the living God, I jack to this service for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I jack in Jesus, I jack in Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Oh, God of mercy, in the move of your power this morning, touch my life. Touch my life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's begin to worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the omnipotent God, the omniscience God. The reason why you are alive today, let's begin to worship Him. Let's begin to call Him sweet names. Call Him sweet names. In Jesus, we worship Him. We honor Him. In different ways, Lord, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too real, Lord. You are a great God. In different ways, Lord, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too real, Lord. You are a great God. In different ways, in different ways, I have tasted of tasted Papa Jesus, you are too real. You are a great, you are a great God in different ways, Lord. I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too real. You are a great, oh, in different ways, Lord, in different ways. You are too real, Lord. You are a great, you are a great God in different ways, Lord. I have tasted of your power, Jesus. You are too real, Lord. You are a great, oh, in different ways. 
You are too real, oh, you are a great God. Hey, you are a great God. You are a great God. You are a great, great God. Oh, that is all I know. You are a great God. Oh, you are a great God. Hey, you are a miracle working God. Oh, 
Ogola Shoile, Yini, in your lag, Gulashi, or we said, Our marriage, Hello, do my Let's return our glory back to Him. Begin to worship Him for the gift of life. Is somebody ready to praise the Lord in the house this morning? Why don't you return our glory back to you? He is the Haru Gwaja, the Hale Wileshe, the Hele Dumare, Obatoti Wak, Higogwayotowa. Why don't you appreciate him? Begin to lift your hands to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Yodas, Yodas, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the front, to the back. Hey, you are good, you are good, you are good, Jesus. Every day, every hour, you are good, Jesus. You are good, you are good, Jesus. Every day, every hour, you are good. Jesus, we say you are good, you are great, hey, you are good, oh, Jesus, every day, every hour, you are good, Jesus, you are good, oh, you are good, hey, you are good, Jesus, every day, every hour, you are good, Jesus. If you pay your team, fill it to my ray. You're this, you're this, you're this, you're this, you're this, you're this. If you pay your team, fill it to my ray. If you do a tie, you're a ballo go. If you do a tie, you're a ballo go. You shall win for a see you you shall win for a see you Somebody is not dancing. Say hi, ya, ya, ya. Hallelujah. Kurukoga, kobe jesuga o. Kurukoga, kobe jesuga o. Do what, do what, do what, do what, kobe jesuga o. Do what, do what, do what, do what, kobe jesuga o. Kurukoga, kobe jesuga o. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Now face the next beside you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, face your neighbor. Hallelujah, 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 hey, hallelujah, 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 say, I know me sorrow, I show only me sorrow, I show all I mean my sorrow, I show you didn't like me, you didn't like me, I show you, say, you didn't like me, you didn't like me. I show you, you didn't like me, you didn't like. I show you, you didn't like me, you didn't like. I show you, you didn't like me, you didn't like. I show you, say I know me sorrow. I show me twenty twenty three. Hey, I show you, all I need my sorrow. I show you, you didn't like me, you didn't like. I show you, let somebody shout hallelujah. To the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Saba Amoba, Omula Rupoja, Obatoti Wakayeto, Obatum Bado Bale Oba, Obatum Bado Bale Oba, Obatum Bado Bale Oba, Awashe Kabi Esire, Obatum Bado Bale, Olori Ayo. Oba tong ba do ba le oba, so we pe mo she ka bi esire. Oba tong ba ido ba le, 
Oh, Lori, I am. Yeah, Somebody said, Mesheka be a sire. Ibo Kwanu. Where are the Ibo's in the house? Are you ready to dance? If you are ready, wave your hands to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, God of Olukoya. Hallelujah. Yeah. I call you Ebu Bedike, Jehovah Nisi, Ebu Bedike. Ah, hey. Yadas, 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 Yadas. I call you Ebu Bedike, Jehovah Nisi, Ebu Bedike. Ah, hey. We call you Ebu Bedike, Isi, Gendu, Ebu Bedike. Ah, hey. Ebu Bebu Be. Ebu bebu be, o lori aye, isi ikendu, agune chamba. Ebu bebu be, ebu bebu be, ebu bebu be. We call you ebu bedike, agune chamba, ebu bedike. Aye, Jehovah ebu bedike. Wave your hands and begin to worship Him. He is the ancient of this. Appreciate Him. Father, we give you all the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Amen. Amen. We're looking at what I call the mystery of first fruit offerings. The mystery of first fruit offerings. The mystery of the first thing I'd like to tell you is this. When we're talking about wealth and prosperity, in God's way, there are 13 major keys to key into wealth and prosperity God's way. Some keys are more powerful than the other. And some keys have a slightly different function than that of the other. Let me quickly go through those 13 keys now. The first key is make God your friend. Because God is under no obligation to start to bless his enemies. Key number two. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And its righteousness. That's what the Bible says. Seek ye first that kingdom. Key number three. Go out of your way to be a blessing to others. Go out of your way to be a blessing to others. Key number four. Pay your tithe faithfully. So, pay it faithfully. So, it is it is safer to overpay. Key number five. Become an incurable giver. Give. Six. Give your offering 
faithfully. Ma fiore resile lo to lo to seven ikeje so seeds ma fun irugbin that is what you call the seed offering ele an pe ni ore irugbin eight ikejo take care of the poor boju to ko si ma toju awon alaini take care of the poor boju to ko si ma se toju awon alaini the bible says see that takes care of the poor shall never lack Pray wealth releasing and wealth transfer prayers. Ten. Work hard. Work hard. Eleven. Avoid being a debtor. Yerafu bese jije. That is avoid debt. Eni kwe ko yerafu bese. And twelve. Ike jila. Invest with the wisdom of God. Pe lo agbo alorun. Ni ko ma bi ko wole unko. If you want to invest, make sure that you have the wisdom of God in investment. Ko to ko wole unko. Uri da ju pe o shi amulo. And key number 13. Pay your first fruit offering. And this is where we want to key in. We start our journey. It's a long journey. We start our journey from Exodus chapter 34. Exodus chapter 34. Exodus Exodus 34, verse 26. Exodus 34, verse 26. Exodus 34, verse 26. It's good to open your Bibles there so that you can see these things for yourself. 34, 26. The first of the first fruits of thy land. Thou shalt bring unto the house of the Lord thy God. I read it again. The first of the first fruits of thy land. Thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God. God. So the first thing you learn about first fruit offering there is that it must be brought to the house of God. Bring it to the house of God. Now let's read two key passages more. Before I now begin to pass some comments. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9. If you don't know any passage in this teaching, this is the one to know and to memorize. This is Solomon teaching his children wisdom. Solomon teaching his in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9, it says, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. Then what will be the result if you do that? So shall thy bank be filled with plenty. And thy presence shall burst out with new one. There will be an explosion. An increase. A promotion. When you give the first fruit to the Lord. Now in Romans chapter 11 verse 16 and this is a very very important passage. Romans chapter 11 verse 16 Romans 11 16 Romans 11 16 says for if the first fruit be holy the lump is also 
That is, when you bring out a false fruit from your offering, the rest is now consecrated by the Lord. That one that you took out as false fruit now confers holiness unto the other that have left. It will consecrate the whole that bit that you took out of it. Because you say, if the false fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. Let me go to some hard facts now. The first fruit offerings. And I'm going to give this out slowly. So that you can understand what we're saying. I know there are people here today who want supernatural explosion in their businesses in their life this year. If you are that person shouting loud, hallelujah. Then you must take this to heart. Statement number one. Oro akoko. Giving our first to God. Fifi akoso wa fun olorun means that we are giving him our most cherished. O tu mo si pe a nfun ni eyi to se iye bi e julo si wa. We are giving to him. E to se iye bi e julo si wa la nfi fun yen. And God appreciates that a lot. Olorun si mo riri eleyi. It's hard. O le but it shows that you love God. Two, first fruit represents a commitment by God to us. And by us also to him. So once you commit yourself to it, God is committed to do you good. Three, because first fruit symbolizes that God is our priority. God becomes our priority. Number four, under the law, the first, all the firsts, belong to God. So what we're saying, that, that falsehood is really about who comes first in your life. Five, the falsehood is a lesson on deliverance. Asking you to release your Ishmael so that your Isaac can come. Six, the first food is a lesson on dependence. Seven. The first food offering ensures a future harvest. It ensures a future harvest. But if you don't give it, there will be no future harvest. Statement number eight. The first fruit represents a part of the whole. That is, once you give the first fruit salary for this year now, it's like you have given the rest of your salary for the level ones to God and is sanctified, the enemy will not be able to touch that one. Now, first fruit in Hebrew, the original word is what you call Bikurim. Bikurim. Bikurim is B I K K U R I M. Bikurim. Bikurim. Bikurim means the promise to come. The promise 
to come. So once that falsehood is given, you ignite the promise of God into your life. And God will begin to work wonders in your finances and in your prosperity. Have you just started working? That first salary, don't touch it. Bring it to the house of the Lord. And then, let you know, Watch how rapid your promotion will be. Your promotion will be so rapid you will receive special favor. Some of us block our own blessings. Some of us can pray serious witchcraft destroying prayer, but we are very stingy. If you do not give God your first fruit, listen very carefully. The others following behind will not be as profitable as they should be. So the first fruit will release promotion to you, will release leadership to you, will release honor into your life. This is the secret that the devil has been hiding from the church. We some have been practicing and you see them prospering and you wonder are these Christians are not praying as much as me but how come they are so rich? It's because they understood the principle. These are strategies that many Christians who are not as holy and prayerful as us, they have discovered. It's a spiritual law. To know whether you are reading your Bible or you are sanctified, you are he doesn't want to know it's a law. Once you follow the law, you get the benefit. But if you are now very prayerful and you are living a holy life, then you enjoy the benefit more. Exodus 22. Exodus 22. I read from verse 29. Exodus 22 from 29. Exodus 22, 29. Thou shalt not delay to offer the first fruit of thy ripe fruits and of thy liquors, the first one of thy sons shall thou give unto me. Likewise shall thou do with thine oxen I will thy sheep. Seven days it shall be with his dam. And the other eight thou shalt give it me. The principle is very clear. God wants the firstborn, God wants the first fruit. This principle was handed over to the patriarchs. And then, as people key into this secret, miracles began to happen in their life. What that of first fruit, you take it to the man of God. Our early Pentecostal fathers who practice this ones, they obtain bountiful harvest. The first fruit institution is as valid as the tithe. And you need to understand this very, very well. If you are now ready for blessings of the first fruit, when you got a first salary, whatever they give to you, everything is the first fruit. And once you give that one, both your tithe and everything has been given. All of it, no deduction. But if you had planned 
that, that is if you have planned for it. But if you do not plan for it, deduct your transport from it and then give the Lord the rest. That's no matter how large it is. If you're a trader, at the end of January, sit down. Calculate what profit you had made. Bring that profit to the Lord. That profit you brought to the Lord will now enlarge other profits throughout the year. If you have things and you cannot calculate your profits, then the first major thing that you sell bring it to the Lord. You are having an income, your first income for the year, bring it. If people give you gifts, the first gift you get this year, monetary, give it to the Lord as a first Foot offering. And watch what you will begin to do in your life throughout the year. These are secrets of the church. Which the olden days Christians understood. They utilize it to maximum advantage. But we have neglected it. And then the enemy is able to move in and do all kinds of things with our finances. With our monies. And then we we'll keep complaining all the time. I don't know why this is so. I don't know why that is so. I don't know why this is so. These are the principles. So if you are given even your first foot of food. What are the benefits you will derive from the Lord? Let me begin to explain the benefits to you one by one now. The first benefit you are going to derive is good health. That is you won't be wasting your money with the doctors and with medicine and with this with that. You will have good health. Two, you're going to have dominion prosperity. Comes in Java into your camp. The kind of prosperity that dominates. The kind of prosperity that is unbeatable. Comes into your camp when you give this first fruit of It's uncommon favor. Uncommon favor, doors will just open. Uncommon favor. And when you start moving in this arena, even those who do not like you will give unto you. Take, go. When you pay this first fruit offering. This is a very, very serious situation which I want you to understand very, very well. Four is uncommon promotion. Uncommon promotion comes away. The fifth thing that you get when you begin to put down your first foot of it is that you will be you will be promoted from largeness to explosion. I see the difference between something large and something explosive. You go from largeness to explosion. Six. 
the strangers will bow down to you and be generous unto you. Strangers will bow down unto you and be generous unto you. Seven. Seven things that happens when you go. This kind of thing is that you will be a source of blessing to your children and children. And your children, children. Because that thing you are giving will flow right to your generational life. These are the benefits that will derive by this kind of operation. So it has its own agenda completely. I like you to bow down your heads. Bow down your heads. And what I want you to do is to first of all confess your sins to the Lord if you know you have not been faithful with your even normal tithes and offerings. Confess it to the Lord. And make a vow before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that you will be faithful as from now on. And if you need to make a restitution, tell the Lord the kind of restitution you want to make so that you can open uncommon doors of breakthroughs to your life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 We shall continue our service this morning by opening to hymn number 249. Hymn number 249. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There is power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you all evil a victory win? There is wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power. In the blood of the Lamb, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Hymn number 249. Shall we rise, please? If you have testimony to give, the testimony ministers are waiting for you. God bless you. Kim 
power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be white and much whiter than snow? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Sin stains are lost in his life given flow. There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, there is power. Good morning, church. We are in testimony time. If you have any time to share a testimony, quickly come to the front. Let us stand up. We are going to shout ten, seven thanksgiving hallelujah to the Almighty God for His grace and His mercy, for His protection, His guidance upon our life. Let's go. Seven thanksgiving hallelujah. 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 As we are standing, let us close our eyes. Our Father, we appreciate you this morning. We glorify your majesty for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. We bless your name for all the testimonies you have been recording on this uh, mountain. And the one we are going to record today, accept our thanks and our praises in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, do a new thing in our life today in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover the testifier and the testimony blood of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let's be seated. Good morning, church. May God bless us all. And I want to testify to the glory of God, to the shame of the devil. My name is Apollonia A.K. Um, it happened last week. I just want to give God glory because he's awesome. He's a mighty God. And he said those that put their trust in him will not be put to shame. And they will not be disgraced. I... That morning, after I had having my baths, I had a call. They said they needed me somewhere. So I just rushed out. I forgot that I put gas on. I was cooking in the kitchen. I left the cooking, the gas on. I went out for eight hours. The gas, my gas cylinder was in the kitchen, and I just filled that gas. So when I get, get back around eight, around the eight hours, more than, more than eight hours. So the, when I came in, I said, where is this place? It's very so, uh, stuffy. So when I went to the kitchen, I said, just go and put something on the fire. I saw the gas burning. The pots I was cooking with got burnt. Everything in that place got burnt, and the gas was still burning. I just want to glorify God that I don't know what would have happened if not for God. So the thing just happened like that. But I just want to glorify God because it's awesome. It's wonderful. God, please help me thank the God and say seven hallelujah to Almighty Jehovah. For what God has done in our life and the testimony we have we heard, let us stand up and shout one thanksgiving hallelujah to the Almighty God. With the same voice, let us shout this one loud and clear. I refuse to make a mistake. That 
will swallow my success. In the mighty name of Jesus, I refuse to make a mistake. They will swallow my success. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we will not make any mistake that we swallow our success in the name of Jesus. Our Bible reading in this morning service will be taken from the book of Job 42, from verse 7 to the end. Job 42. Amen. It reads, And it was so that after the Lord had spoken these words unto Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz the Temanite, My wrath is kindled against thee and against the two friends, for you have spoken of me the things that is right, as my servant Job had. Eight. Therefore take unto you now seven bullock and seven ram, and go to my servant Job, and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering, and my servant Job shall pray for you. For him will I accept, lest I deal with you after your folly, in that you have not spoken of me the things which is right, like my servant Job. So Eliphat the Tenamite, and Belad the Shunite, and Zophar the Namanite, went and did according as the Lord commanded them, and the Lord also accepted Job. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before, eleven. Then came there unto him his brethren and all his sisters, and all they that has been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in the house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil the Lord has brought unto him. Every man also gave a piece of money, and every one an earring of gold. So the Lord blessed the latter hand of Job more than his beginning. For he has 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asses. 13. And he, uh, he had also seven sons and three daughters. And the Lord called the name of his first, Jemina. And the name of the seven, second, Keziah, and the name of the third, Kerian Apuk. And in all the land where no woman found so fair as the daughters of Job, and the father gave them inheritance according among their brethren. After he had lived a hundred and forty years, and saw his sons and his sons' sons, even four generations. 17, the last verse. So he died and being of old and full of days. Amen. And we will take this prayer together. The year 2023. I will finish strong. I will start strong. I will finish strong. In Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Detroit, my Lord, and my star, with no one to defend. Within the heart of pilot, he stood with us, our friend. Oh, be a friend to Jesus, my life for you. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Jump up on your feet and shout it loud, hallelujah. 
Please kindly lift up your two hands to the Lord as you are going to shout this one with fire in your spirit. Say, Oh God, arise. Glorify yourself in my life today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I like you to lift up your voice to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and begin to appreciate Him. This is another new day that He has made. And He has made you a partaker. You are featured in this new day that the Almighty God made. Several people slept yesterday. They had intended that they would wake up this morning to do one thing or the other. But they could not wake up. The psalmist said, I slept and I awake because Jehovah sustained me. Want to lift up your voice and begin to give him praise. There is no one like you. Wonderful Savior. The giver of life. The sustainer of life. The keeper of life, the blesser of life, the nourisher of life, the sustainer of life. If it had not been you on our side, we cannot defend ourselves. We cannot keep ourselves. We cannot protect ourselves. We cannot defend ourselves. We cannot wake up ourselves. What a mighty God we serve. Glorious God, marvelous God, beautiful God, ancient of days, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star, the unchangeable changer, the one who is the first, the one who is the last, merciful, glorious, excellent. What a mighty God you are. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. Mighty God. Holy, holy, holy. Is ascribed unto your majesty. What a mighty God you are. He must be nigwe, and I say hallelujah, and I say hallelujah. Jehovah, very one, very one. He must be nigwe, and I say hallelujah, and I say hallelujah. Jehovah, very one, very one. i 
You are worthy of our praise. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. a great God we serve. Who is greater than Jehovah Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord divine. Who is greater than Jehovah Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord divine. Oh yeah. Excellent Jehovah. Who is greater than Jehovah Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord divine. Oh yeah. Excellent Jehovah, my fellow Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord divine. Excellent Jehovah, my fellow Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord divine. Oh God. Yeah. 
In the name of Jesus. Send down your fire. Send down your fire. Send down your fire. Hold on. Send down your fire. Hold on. to chase emptiness this year. I don't want to be walking contrary to your plans. Help me to be at the center of your way. Lord, I don't want to be chasing nothing. I don't want to be chasing zero. Lord, I want you to lead me. I want you to guide me. I want you to order my step. Anything that is wrong with me, please correct them. Don't let me start in error. Lord, let me begin with your will and continue in your will. Open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord. Lord, open your plans for me this year. Unveil the good things that you have in store. Lord, help me to walk in the way that you have by light for me. Help me, Father, to be in your book. Lord, help me, Lord, to walk in your ways. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, this is our res res resolve. This is our desire that we will please you, Amen. that we walk in your way, Amen. that you will use us mightily that you, have that you have used us in the past years. That greater things will be done in our lives this year. That we will be blazing, we'll be moving forward, we'll be making progress than the progress we have ever made. Show us what we need to know. Help our lives. Correct us. Change us. Help us. Break us. And change us. This service, let it transform. Let it bring revival. In the name of Jesus. Whatever must die so that our life can move, let it die in the name of Jesus. Do something glorious with our life this year. Our lives will never be the same again. A loud amen. amen. Somebody shout a loud amen. amen. Help me tell somebody by your side, this is my year of greatness. I must, I must be great. This is my year of glorious manifestation. I will surely manifest. It is well with me. It is well with my family. I will serve God in good health. My health will not be a concern this year. Money will not be a concern this year. Everything shall be provided. I'm going to walk in abundance. I'm going to walk in prosperity. I'm going to be successful than the previous years. God is going to help me this year. Say a loud amen. Please take your seat. God bless you. Hallelujah. This morning... We are looking at, of course, we are back with our prayer, series of prayers that we have been looking at. We have not exhausted prayers, and so we are going to continue 
And because it has so much in stock for each and every one of us. I've been looking at different topics on prayers. But then there is one prayer that is necessary, particularly at such a time as this. It is called the prayer of consecration. Can I hear you say prayer of consecration? Prayer of consecration. Uh, nobody should just you know, continue to do the same thing over and over and over and over, and then you are expecting different results. They say it is madness. So a time must come in your life. You sit down, look at what you have done, you look at where you are, and then you make an appraiser. And that's exactly what we want to do this morning. Because 2023, we must deepen our fellowship with God. 2023, I'd like you to listen to me very well. Enough of surface life. We must deepen our walk with God. The Bible says, when I was a child, what happened? I behaved like a child. But then, now I have become adult. What happened? I put away childish behaviors. I put it away. So this year, we must deepen our work with God. 2023 is a journey. You must not walk it all alone. Do you want to walk it all alone? You must not walk it all alone. And there is only one person who can lead you, and you will never miss it. There's only one person who can lead you. That is, he's ahead of you, and you are following him. You can't miss it. Only one person. That's what it takes. That's why I'm going to plead with you. Don't play game with God. There are so many game players with God. Please be real with God. Let him be ahead of you and you are following. David, I mean, it was Moses, not David. Moses said, if you will not follow us, if you will not lead us, if you will not be with us, don't even allow us to go. God said, okay, I will send my angels to go with you. Moses said, not angel we are asking for. It is you that must go with us. You know angel? Angel can be very irrational. You offend angel, you can't beg him. You remember what he did to Zachariah? Uh-huh. So if angel is leading you and you just ask for your opinion and say, this is it, it will just give you a slap. It's because... It doesn't, doesn't listen to, you know, it doesn't listen to all that. But if God is with you, it's a different thing altogether. So you must be sure that he's with you this, this, this year. You must be sure that you are feeling him in your places of work, in your houses, in the school, wherever you find yourself. We must turn away from unrighteousness. We must turn away from sin. We must turn away from evil because the Bible says two cannot work together. There must be an alignment. There must be an agreement. There must be an alignment. The Bible says Enoch walk with God. How was he able to walk with God? He shed off. He shed off. He aligned his way with the ways of God. Genesis chapter 5 verse 24. Make up your mind that you are going to deepen your work with God. I'm going to go after God. Test after God. Look for God. And be sure that he's on your side. Because if he's on your side, it doesn't matter who is not on your side. If he's with you, it doesn't matter who is not with you. One with God 
is the majority. But one thing is sure, it will not permit this crookedness. Eh? If you are going to work with him, it will not permit rising and falling on seriousness. It will not permit it. It won't permit slumbering. You know, slumbering? It says, serve God with fervency. Say, I want it hot. I want it hot. I want it hot. It says, if it's not hot, I don't like it. He says, I don't want lukewarm. You know, lukewarm. The kind of water you used to buy is warm. If it's hot, you can't use it. God said, I don't want warm. I want somebody who's hot. I pray for you that this year, you will be at the center of the will of God. Amen. No more sluggishness. No more rising and falling. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Do away with ungodly fellowship, ungodly association, ungodly lifestyle. Be consistent. Anybody that is going to work with God must be consistent. Consistency is it. And God looked at Reuben when his father was talking to him. He said, Reuben, my firstborn, the excellency of dignity, the excellency of power. Say, but your problem is you are not stable. In the matter of life, you need to be stable. People need to know where you belong. Eh? People need to know the camp where you belong. People need to know your consecration. People need to know where you belong. And so, we are going to read Psalm 51. Psalm 51 is a psalm of consecration written by David, a man of God. There was a time in the life of this man of God. He fell off from the message of God. And he had to pray himself back to God. He had to humble himself before God. He had to cry to God in, sincere, in sincerity. And the story is that God accepted him. God brought him back. And so much what the Bible says, it was a man after God's heart. Psalm 51. We are going to read it together. I will read one, then you read two. But you see, in reading things like this, you don't read them like you read novels. You don't read them like you read other things. You read them meditatively. You read them slow. So that what is inside. Because the Bible says letter, letter. What does, what does the Bible say letter do? It kill it. You can even be reading and the letter will be killing you. But there is something that is after that, that is inside that letter. So we're going to read Psalm 51. I will read verse 1. Um, because of time, we'll stop at 12. We'll stop at Verse 12. I read one, then you read two, then I read one after the other. He said, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Please, can you read it all over again slowly? Please, can we read this slowly now? Verse 3. For I acknowledge my transgression. And my sin is ever before me. Be 
build our shepherd in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. In verse 7, he cried, Purge me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. This was what brought David back in alignment with God. And he ever remained in that alignment till the end of his life. The war of consecration has some meanings that are very important that I want you to hold this morning. Number one, it means set apart. Anytime you hear consecration, it means set apart. When you give your life to Christ, Bible says that we are taken from somewhere and then we are brought to God. That's what salvation has done. We are set apart. We now belong to God. It says we have God, little children, and we have overcome them because greater is he that is in us. We are set apart. We are not God's property. We are not God's people. That is, that is what makes the religious people to be confused. Because there are religions that can't imagine that how can you call yourself a child of God? God didn't, give, didn't marry. Didn't, when did his wife get pregnant and get back to you? Up to today, they are still arguing. So how can you say you are a child of God? Did, did, did God marry? But to us, Jesus didn't come to give us religion. came to draw us back to God. And we are now set apart. We belong to God, absolutely. And I know God. I know God. I know God. He doesn't manage. Is it that you are for him? You are against him. He won't take any other. He, he wants that first. He wants you first. He won't take just any other thing. I know him. He doesn't struggle if you are not ready. If you are not, you are not ready. You still have other things. All right, go ahead. But when you are ready, you submit. Give yourself to him. Jesus, I know him. He wants to be the Lord. He wants to be master. These are two different things. Lord means is the one who saves us. Lord means is the one who guides us. He is the one who saves us when you are in, when you are in danger, when you want anything. It, it brings salvation. But he said it's not enough. See, I must also be your master. I must be your Lord, and I, you. I must also be. Your master. The other day he said, why are you calling me Lord, Lord, Lord? You are saying I am Lord. And yet you will not obey what I said. So, for him, he, he wants to hone you. He will not share you. Please note that one. The first word in consecration is set apart. Can you imagine yourself being set apart for God? Some of you think it's only the clergy that are set apart. No. Even you are set apart because the same blood that redeemed the clergy is also the blood that redeemed you. It is only in our in the way we play religion that makes that makes people to think that there is a higher law for the clergy and and then a lower law for the laity. No, 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 sir. No man. That the same, the same law, the same Bible, the same consecration. 
and that's why I'm not, I, am, I know what I'm talking about. There are many believers who are better than many pastors, who are better than many clergy. I'm, I know what I'm talking about. There are many who are, who are following God, and just reading, serving God, who are better off. That's the first word. Number two, the word consecration is dedication. It's very powerful. Dedication means God alone. God all the way. This one is marked off. This one is marked off. And when he wanted to come, when he wanted to make it read, he said, "Your body is my temple." So I'm going to be living inside of you. I'm going to be living inside of you. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. First Corinthians chapter three. Look at what he said. It says, know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Then it says, and that the spirit of God dwell in you. Or dwelling in you. That is dwelling is a way of saying dwelling. Dwelling means continuous. He's living there. That's his house. And can you imagine that? The Holy Spirit is inside of you and you are watching pornography. You are looking at the naked. The Holy Spirit is inside of you and you are doing this. You are, look at what you are watching. The Holy Spirit is inside. Look at your heart. Look at, your, look at what you think about. Look at your way of life. You even look at your dressing. Look at your association. Look at who you are. The Holy Spirit is living in you and you are like this. The Holy Spirit lives in you. No wonder Daniel said in Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 the Bible says and Daniel decided in himself that he would not corrupt his own body because of the food of the king. Number three, number three words that you must hold when you talk about consecration is purity. Purity, the explanation of purity is something that has one with nature. Purity means something that has only one nature. You hear about pure gold, pure gari, pure beans. Anytime you see beans and then you see gari mixed with it, it's no longer pure. It has to be one entity. Pure. Pure means one. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 8. Ecclesiastes chapter number 9 verse 8. It says... Let thy garments always be white. And let thy head lack no ointments. That was the problem that Zechariah the high priest had. High priest had appeared before God. He was not aware that there was a spot on his garments. The garment, because we are all, we are all close. We have clothes on spiritual. As we put on fine, fine, beautiful, you know, nice clothes now for the physical dressing. We also have spiritual dressing. It is the level of your holiness that determines your spiritual dressing. You may wear beautiful garments, nice one, physically, but spiritually you are clothed with dirty garments. And so the high priest appeared before God. And he was surprised to see Satan standing at his right hand. If you don't want Satan to stand at your right hand, make up your mind. 
that he will not have anything to use against you. Jesus said to us, he said, I will not talk much with you because the king of the prince of this world came at, come at, and he didn't find anything in me. That's, that's will be your testimony this year. They came, to, they came to check me, check me, check me. They didn't find anything. God will help you Amen. to attain that height this year. Amen. To attain that height this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pure. Pure. And when God was giving Moses instruction as to what he wants the temple, you know, Exodus 25 verse 31, he said, it has to be pure gold. And this, I don't want mixture of gold, wood, brass, and other things. It has to, have to be pure. So when you see white here, it signifies purity. No uncleanness. No mixture. The Bible says, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 19, he said, Nevertheless, 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 the foundation of God standeth sure. And having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And now conclude, he said, Let everyone that nameth the name of Christ, let him depart from sin. Let it depart from evil. Let it depart from uncleanness. It says, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver and also of wood and of earth. You can see different type of materials there. He said, in the, in the house of God, these are qualities. I pray that you will be good this year. He said, there are vessels of gold. I tell you, there are vessels of gold in the house of God. They may not have title. People may not know them. But heaven sees them. Say this one? It's a gold material. Then the next one is a silver. Silver. It's the second quality. Then he now went and said, there are what is the next one? Wood. Wood. Do you know the, the, the value of gold and wood together? Eh? Go and ask those who are cutting wood in the forest. A whole trailer of wood. A whole trailer of wood. Eh? At the end of the day, hardly can you get five million. Hmm? A whole trailer of wood. But if you see one kilogram, just one kilogram of gold, and you take it to the gold market, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be surprised. As small as it is. Please, walk your way to be gold. Then it says there is still another one. What's that one? The head. Head is soil. It's talking about Dust. You know, you know one tip of dust. How much is it? How one is maybe ten thousand abi. Uh, a whole tipper. Like that. Ten thousand. What does this work consecration? What does it mean? What is the first one? What did this way is the first one? Set apart. What is number two? Dedication, what is number three? Yes. Number four is holiness. I'm sure many people, it, it will now, it makes more meaning. Holiness. 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 When Isaiah saw God, he saw the angels surrounding him. And only one thing they were saying, holy, holy, holy. Is the Lord holy, holy, holy is the Lord? You must be holy in spirit, in soul, and in the body. Without holiness, the Bible says you can't see God. If you don't live holy, your prayer will not be answered. If you don't live holy, 
they may write your name in the book of life, they will delete it. You may be, you may do signs and wonders. Please, get me right. You may do signs and wonders, but without holiness, you are, you are, they will be, you'll be thrown out. You may see vision without holiness, possible. You can even preach. I've said this before. You can preach and still go to hell. You see? I heard the story of a, uh, I mean, somebody who appeared in heaven and uh, people were, you know, because it was a large, large crowd. People were, people were moving and they saw Jesus sitting. But when it was the turn of this man, Jesus stood up and went and embraced him. People started to say, but look at this multitude of people that were here. You didn't embrace any of them. He said, this one is a preacher. And we don't often have preacher here. If we have one now, we don't know where we have another one. So it's not preaching. It is easy to say than to do it. It's not preaching. It is the life that followed that preaching. It's easy to say, who are you? After the preaching. That's what matters at the end of the day. No holiness. You can't last. You cannot last. You can't last. And then numbers, let's, let's look at one or two more. Number one, number, number five. It's called sanctification. Sanctification. When you are saved, when you give your life to Christ, that is like a child who has just enrolled in primary school. It's just like somebody who has just started his uh, education from the beginning. The next class after salvation is called sanctification. In that class, you deal with the nature that you are bringing from Egypt. You deal with the nature that you inherited from Adam. That's what. So when you are now born again and Adam is controlling you, Egypt is ruling you, you can't do business. You know, you are crooked in business, dishonest. You know, civil servant, dishonest, stealing here and there. You know, that is Egypt property. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. That is, have the mind of Christ. <laughs> Christ cannot be cheating people. Can, Christ can't see another human being like himself in pain. You are the one that put him in pain. Put him in pain by what you did. Christ won't do that. Christ will not do that. And, and then next is, is called brokenness. It's brokenness. Brokenness. Psalm 34 verse 18. Brokenness. Brokenness. Psalm 34, verse 18. Psalm 34, verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contract heart. Brokenness. When you are broken, you naturally radiate God. Brokenness is to die to self.
Amen. Amen. Please, you know, people mumble things together. Brokenness is not when you refuse to brush your teeth. If you don't wash your clothes. You refuse to shake people's hands. Say, why? Say, because I don't want them to contaminate me. <laughs> Brokenness. Always laugh. Brokenness. Laugh. There are believers that don't laugh. 24 hours frowning their faces. Brokenness has human nature. Still has, you know, it smiles. Is kind, is neat. Brokenness greet people. And our people, you, they don't greet people. How can you say you are a Christian? Everybody in the house is your enemy. What kind of Christianity is that? Huh? You say you are a believer. Everybody in the house, they are all witches. So you are the only one who is not. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. You have you, everybody fight. You. Something is wrong. Let me round up to this morning. We continue from there next time. It is what we call this one. Don't forget. It is called true repentance. When you say consecration, it means true Repentance. Brothers, sisters, have you truly repent? I, I'm not saying if you have been going to church, you are, you are going to church. Fine. It's good. But you see, have you repented? Have you changed your life? Is your life changed? Have you repented? Shall we close our eyes? I want you to walk with God this year. I want you to deepen your fellowship with God this year. I want God to put his mark of, I hold this one upon you this year. Open your mouth and begin to tell God, help me, Lord. Search my heart. But I venture you are here this morning. I want to help you. Nobody is born a saint. Nobody is born the Bible says we all inherited sin. We read it from that passage of the Bible we read. Who in the new question did our mother conceive us? But you see, do you know that by your acknowledgement of your sin, just like we read, you can be saved. Wherever you are this morning, while all eyes are closed, you say, please, I will pray for me. I too, I want to walk with God. I want to deepen my fellowship with God. I want to walk in the ways of God. I want to love God. I want to serve God in consecration this year. I want to consecrate my life to God. I don't want this mess up. I want to live holy life with God this year. Wherever you are, can you raise up the hand? Brother, sister, God bless you. Raise up the hand wherever you are. At back, God bless you. Those of you are raising up your hand. Please stand up on your feet. God bless you. Just stand up on your feet. That, that's the, the first step towards working with God. God bless you. Those of you who are standing on your feet. God bless you. Some of you are at the back. God bless you. God bless you. I want you to start coming right now while the choir will be singing the song to welcome you to the presence of God. Please, wherever you are, just find your way. Come down quickly while we listen to the choir singing the sing song to welcome you. Please go ahead. Please have your way. Can you please begin to come? Begin to come. God bless you as you come. You are the back. We are, wait, we are waiting for you. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh, precious he
Amen. It will be a very grievous sin and offense if you are not born again and then you are seated there and you are not coming out. Those of you who are in the front, can you say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. Be my Lord and be my Savior. If you are still there sitting in the congregation and you are not born again, please walk quickly to this altar before we finish this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, wash my sin and cleanse me with your blood. Write my names in the book of life. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, I commit your children unto you this morning. I ask that you lay your hands upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of the living God, the spirit of Christ, let it enter into them and begin to teach them what to do from now. Your lives will never be the same again. The Lord will help you to walk with him all the days of your life. You will not go back to the world. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we have the... Please, can we take care of them? Follow this, our brother. God bless you. Amen. Shall we rise up on our feet? Amen. 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 Close your eyes. I want you to pray this prayer for yourself. The Bible said that it is not of him that runneth, it's not of him that willeth, but then it's of God that showeth mercy. All the efforts of man without God will still end up in failure. But when God is with you, when he's backing you, when he's supporting you, when he's helping you, you cannot miss it, you cannot fail. I want you to say, Spirit of holiness. Spirit of sanctification, possess me this year, envelope me this year. Spirit of holiness, spirit of sanctification, possess me, envelope me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A threefold amen. 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 God bless you. You can be seated. As the titles will dance to the altar. Titles, please dance to the altar.
to pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you. The God who has never failed, we thank you. The mighty man in battle, we thank you. God, we appreciate you for your love, for your kindness, for all that you have done for us. Mighty Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree upon the tithes of your children, sanctify it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every devourer assigned against your life, assigned against your business, assigned against your career, assigned against the source of your income. Let the fire of the living God destroy the devourer in the name of Jesus. With this token in your hand, the Lord shall multiply you. This year, you will manifest. I cover your tight with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, our wonderful Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I can see everything turning around. Turning around. Turning around. Turning around. I can see everything turning around. up our offering. Eternal King of glory, we thank you for this offering. God who has never failed, we glorify you. Mighty Father, sanctify it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree upon this offering that as they go this week, I command their heavens to open in the name of Jesus. I decree blessings from four corners of the earth. Let it locate you in the name of Jesus. I cover your offering with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, our wonderful Father. Jesus' name, we pray. Let's be seated as they pass the back to us. Are you ready to proclaim the victory that Jesus has given you? Hey, na, na, na. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. All the vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. God of vengeance has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. Long ago, God of miracles. Who are you? I'm a winner. Hey. I'm a winner. Hey. Has won my battle for me. Who are you? I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Has won my battle for me. Who are you? I'm a winner. I'm a 
I'm a winner, but he has won my battle for me. God of angels has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. God of angels has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner, man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner, man. He has won my battle for me. Who are you? I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner, man. The devil triumphing over him in victory. Tolia de la Bale Bele Totaya. Yeah. Oh, sir, he entered hell. He took the key. He gave me hope. Oh, I'm free indeed. He entered hell. He took the key. He gave me hope. Oh, I'm free in his sing. He entered hell. Hey. He took the key. My problem.
before you declare it this morning straight. Lord, I'll bend down. Every truth. Say it. God of miracles. God of miracles. Can I hear you declare your victory this morning? Who are you? I'm a winner, man. Who are you? I'm a winner, man. Say. Who are you? I'm a winner, man. Winner, man. I'm a winner, man. Our brethren, we come to you wherever you are. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Join us tomorrow for another edition of Command the Morning, 6.30 in the morning to 7.45 in the morning. Tuesday is our Bible study, 4.30 p.m. Wednesday is Manna Water, 4.30 p.m. Every Tuesday and Wednesday is Deliverance Program, and on both days we meet at 3.30 p.m. Participants are to come fasting and dress decently. Now let's dip our hands into our pocket as we bring out our building offering. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this building offering. The God who has never failed, we glorify you. Mighty Father, sanctify it. I cover the building offering with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, our wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. A louder hallelujah. I'm happy to announce to us that one of the books written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of this Great Commission, uh, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, it was the book he announced to us in uh, at the Palm of Stangians, which is titled Get It at the Bookstand. Mountaintop Daily Diffusional open heavens, prophetic calendar, the single page, and also multiple pages, MFM diary, all these are available at the bookstand. You can pick it up there. We should not forget our general thanksgiving. Our general thanksgiving by the grace of God is on the 29th, which is next Sunday. So we should get ourselves prepared for it. We want to appreciate God for all that he has done for us in the last year. God kept us. He did not allow evil to befall us. And there is nothing we can give unto him than to come in appreciation to say, Father, we appreciate all your doings in our life. So next Sunday, we are going to observe it in our three services. So let's be here on time and let's dress very well. Praise the Lord. We don't should not forget their meeting after our third service. Women Foundation should not forget they are meeting next Sunday. Sister Dele Ajay, please see us before you go. Praise the name of the Lord. By the grace of God, there is going to be a combined fellowship here today. And the time is 4 p.m. So all our fellowship members, they are, they are going to have their uh, fellowship here today by 4 p.m. in this assembly by 4 p.m. So all those that are concerned should take note of it. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to appeal to our members. Uh, as I'm talking to you now, if you look at your back, you will discover that many people, they came for the service, but while the service is on, they are all standing. So we discover that some of our chairs are broken. And we want to appeal to us that everyone seated here, if we can just donate a plastic chair, and I believe that it will serve them. So I want to appeal to us, that whatever God lay in your heart, you can give us a dozen, you can give us two or three. We just want a single one like this. We don't want a gigantic one because we don't, because we don't have much space for that. So just a single one like the one you are sitting upon. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Shall we rise, please? 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Close your eyes. Say, my Father. Say, my Father. Help me this year to walk perfectly with you. Say, my Father. Help me this year to walk perfectly with you. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare that. My Father, help me, help me. Shall we be seated, please? Please, ushers, um, this, um, this ushers, please get this thing available to get across to people. We have, um, um, our Father and the Lord have sent, uh, this uh, information to us to announce to spirited members, people who are willing to be part of um, um, Dr. D.K. Olukoya Mountain Top University Foundation. Um, this is to sponsor the indigent students uh, because all hands are not the same. Uh, the Jew has been doing this all by himself, but he wants to also give members opportunity to be part of this vision to support him so that we can reach out to more people, more students who their parents cannot be able to afford sending them to MTU. And these uh, uh, papers are with us this morning. Ushers, do you have them available with you? Um, the, the papers are so... I mean, uh, explanatory. Uh, he, various, all of us are, can be accommodated here because it is not just one group. You can just look at your level and be part of it. Please, can you? Um, there are different kind of a group that is uh, represented here. People that can donate, uh, that can donate five million and above. People that can donate one million and above. The people that can donate five hundred. Thousand people that can donate two hundred thousand, hundred thousand, fifty thousand, uh, twenty thousand, ten thousand, five thousand, even one thousand. Different range, uh, different group purple, blue, green, yellow, pink, and the uh, brown, lemon, velvet, chocolate, and red. So at your capacity. Please, let's identify this form and fill them. And as you do so, the Almighty God will bless you mightily. In Jesus' name. Please, endeavor to collect them. You can be accommodated. However, your level is there. I mean, 1,000. Can you imagine 1,000? 5,000? 10,000? At least we can support somebody has his uh, children with 10,000, with 5,000, uh, as by our level. Please, let's, I expect this paper not to, in fact, I thought it would be enough because, do you still have many? Uh, please, move around, move around. Why are people looking at you? Move around, move around, move around. <laughs> at your level, it's not, it's not, it's not by force. You see the group where you belong there. You do it, you almost not feel it. At your level. And as you do so, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Well, you know, when we take care of others, God to take care of us. Please, let's do that. You will see the various uh, bank um, accounts that you can pay to. It's just a token. If it is monthly basis, if it's just whatever your level, you are accommodated in this request. And as we do so, God will bless you in Jesus' name. There are still, I'm, I'm sure, I'm surprised there are still more. 
Please do that quickly. Some people are raising hands here. Can some people come to the front here? The front people are not. Uh, please. Please do that now, quickly. Thank you. As we collect them, the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' name. There is a portion you will, you will fill and then submit. There is also a portion that you will tear as, and take it home. To, it will serve as a reminder to you. Please let them know the portion they will go home with. The, the small portion is the one you will fill. That one contain your name, address, mobile phone, and then email. The, that's the portion that uh, you will drop. You take the larger portion home. The small portion is the one you will drop for us. Drop with the ushers. And they will keep them. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Are we okay? Please, it's still, we still, they, they've given us our copies. They don't want us to exhaust them. Please, as long as we are still having it, I mean, until the last copy is given out. Please. Who is taking care of the people outside? The, the, uh, the outside, the entire outside. There are also large population there. Please, somebody should rush there and give them. To help us so that we can save time. If you need it, just raise up your hand so that they will quickly rush to where you are to save our time. Are we exhausted? Are we okay? Please, hands up. You still want more? I'm seeing some hands at the back there. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you mightily. Please, as you collect it, the portion that, please, and if don't don't go with our copy, go with your copy, drop our copy. Are we exhausted? Are we all at the back? Are we okay? That, that people are still raising up their hands at the back. Please endeavor to give to them. Now shall we rise up on our feet. In the next just two minutes, we shall close this service. Please drop whatever you have with your hands and sing this song. As a warrior, one man coming to heaven. This is one of the songs we always sing in those days. It's a song of fresh fire. It's a song of endowment. When you want the Lord to take your spiritual life to a higher level, you sing this song. I want you to sing it like one man coming, clapping your hands as you sing it. That song is a prayer itself. You can't sing it and your, your spirit, your soul, and your body is the same. 
Holy Ghost fire possess me, fire, fire possess me, fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me, fire, fire possess me, fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me, fire, fire possess me, fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me, fire, fire possess me, fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me, fire, fire possess me, fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me, fire. Fire possess me, fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me, fire, fire possess me, fire. Holy Ghost fire, follow me, fire, fire, follow me, fire. Holy Ghost fire, follow me, fire, fire, follow me, fire. Holy Ghost fire, follow me, fire, fire, follow me, fire. Holy Ghost fire, follow me, fire, fire, follow me, fire. Holy Ghost fire, follow me, fire, fire, follow me, fire. Holy Ghost fire, follow me, fire, fire, follow me, fire. Holy Ghost fire, follow me, fire, fire, follow me, fire. Holy Ghost fire, follow me, fire, fire, follow me, fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me. Fire, fire possess me. Fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me. Fire, fire possess me. Fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me. Fire, fire possess me. Fire. Holy Ghost fire possess me. Fire. Envelope you. You shall be a terror to the kingdom of darkness. As you go, you company with angels of God. The angels of the Lord shall go ahead of you. The presence of God shall overfill you. You will not walk into danger. You will not walk into war. You will not walk into the trap. You will not walk into a disaster. Every evil in this year is minus you. Every sorrow this year it is minus you. Every court case this year it is minus you. Every epidemic this year it is minus you. The Lord God will be your God. It will go ahead of you. It will never leave you. It will never forsake you. The situation will never arise that you will be alone. You will company with angels. You will company with the Holy Ghost. You will do great work this year. You will do amazing work this year. Whatever is... Uh, a level you are working, you are working with government, you are civil servant, you are working for yourself. This year you will accept. This year you will accept. You will break new records. You will do new things. You will complete that project. You will start another new one your space on this earth. The Bible says the earth is of the Lord and his fullness thereof. You can't come to this one and not have the one that is. If the whole of this earth belongs to God, it will give you your own space. In 2023, you will have your space. Those who have been living in other people's space, God will give you your own space. What I am saying is God will give you your own house. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the ocean of life. And you have not catch anything. This year you will catch them. Because God is going to be with you. You will not fail again. You will accept. This well with you. The name of God the Father. The name of God the Son. The name of God the Holy Ghost. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. 
and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. One loud hallelujah. Next week is our Thanksgiving service. Endeavor to come with, you know, decent appearances. Look gorgeous and look powerfully. And uh, God bless you as you come.